Welcome to Cajun Colin, with your hosts, Shimmy, Cannon, Pat, Jojo, and Jeremy. everyone and welcome to another edition of caging call in i am that canon guy i will be acting as host for this edition of the show yeah that's right you've heard jeremy you've heard justin well guess what it is my turn we would ask frank to do it but he's too busy over here playing patty cake with abaddon so we're just gonna get this show on the road hey you didn't even ask me to do this fucko hey 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 Calm down, calm down. You got a nice winning streak over there. Just keep it going, all right? Anyway, we got some calls here on the line. The lights are blinking. They're they're hot. The lines are hot tonight, y'all. So, we are going to take the first call. How you doing there, and what's on your mind? Yeah, this question's for Cannon. I I called in last time talking about challenging challenging him for, uh, for sandwich competition. But apparently, somebody on your show complained to my boss at the, the Jimmy John's that I worked at and fired me. So now, you know, I'm kind of jobless, but uh, we're working on it. I'm working, trying to get my own sandwich truck put together, but it seems as though it's a little more difficult. But I was just calling to make sure that the sandwich competition is still on. You know, I make a pretty mean BLT. I, uh, I also make a pretty mean pastrami and rye, you know, a grilled cheese sandwich. You know, I, I also can make a pretty good Philly, but uh, I, I'm fairly certain in my abilities as a sandwich creator and sandwich chef that I can I can definitely outwork you, can and I can outwork you like three times over, maybe even four times over. I, I'm not sure. I, I don't want to brag too much, but I just I know that you know I, I understand the bread and the assembly structures and that you got to get it perfect. You know, got to get that nice crisp lettuce, nice crisp bacon. A little bit of tomato, maybe some mayo. It just depends on how you're feeling for, like, you know, a perfect BLT. I'm sure you don't understand those concepts because, you know, they're beyond you. You'll, you're too busy being some kind of famous TikTok star instead of having to defend this title of best chef. But, you know, the 2023 race is going to be hot, and I'm just going to make sure I put my hat out there so I can show you how it's done. You know, I'll, like, force you to sit down and watch as I butter up some bread, throw it in a skillet, and throw some of the best cheeses in it, and make an amazing grilled cheese sandwich, and then you're going to try it, and you're going to be like, god damn, that is amazing. So yeah, 2023, best sandwich chef right here, it's not going to be you. Maybe by, you know, I'll have a job sooner or something. Uh, you know, I've heard of you, and uh, one other uh, disgruntled uh, so-called chef that is upset that I, and for those of you who are unaware, I uh, somehow actually obtained the best local chef of Tuscaloosa a couple of years ago. And apparently that has rustled a few jimmies in in the area. Well, um, sir, all I got to say is I know hands down that I already have you uh, dominated in a sandwich competition. Uh, because you worked at Jimmy John's, and uh, I'm sorry, uh, but I have no respect for a uh, sandwich establishment that doesn't even offer, like, a toasted or warm option. I mean, come on. I mean, how many cold sandwiches can you eat? I mean, I have sensitive teeth, too. Like, I can't do that shit all the time, you know? But I'm just going to say this. It doesn't matter what kind of sandwich you throw down. Hell, you can even bring a hot dog sandwich to the table. Because we all know hot dogs are sandwiches. (laughs) I just heard a sea of buttholes pucker up all at once. Doesn't matter which one you bring to the table. I will always have your number. And that number is the number one, which is represented by my middle finger right now. Which you would see if this were a video podcast, which it isn't. So you're just going to have to take my damn word for it there, bucko. Get your damn utensils ready. I got the mayo. I got the bread. Let's fucking go. Next caller. 
Hello. I was calling because, well, I just had to say, you're a handsome fella. All of those Cajun greatness toasts, well, they're handsome, but you, you, Cannon, you're the most handsome of all. That beard, that haircut, that occasional mustache. <laughs> Oh, so handsome, Cannon. Tell me, how do you do it? How do you go through life being so handsome? Well, caller, uh, thank you. I am very flattered. We are uh, quite the uh, handsome bunch here on Cajun Greatness. But uh, also, now I know I, um, as the previous caller mentioned, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not a TikTok star, as they put it, but I do put my face out there uh, on that platform. But also, caller, I must ask, since this is, again, an audio-only platform, uh, how the hell do you know what we look like? Who are you? Who do you work for? But if you must know, I mean, it, it was definitely a work in progress. Like, it, it, it most certainly didn't happen overnight. Like, uh, a lot of drive through uh, fast food, uh, a, lot of, a lot of beer in college and after college. Um... um and uh, you mentioned the facial hair. Uh, it was, uh, it was, it was, it was a slow burn. Uh, it's whose fucking facial hair started at their Adam's apple and worked their way up. Like, am I the only one? Is that weird? Also, and I know people out there uh, dig the salt and pepper look. Um, I guess maybe the gray in my beard and my hair are, are, are people's thing. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea. That fucko uses touch for men. Don't let him touch a gray. Don't let him fucking lie to you. Hey, Frank. Hey, you you shouldn't talk shit, okay? You should not talk shit. I actually envy your fucking uh, silver fox hair, okay? Okay? If I woke up tomorrow and looked like that, I'd be a-okay with it. Okay? Shut up. Uh, but yeah, um, I have no idea. Um, I guess um, if people think that uh, gigantic IMAX screen foreheads are handsome, then <laughs> hey, hey, I'm your guy. Anyway, oh shit, the light is blinking again. We got another call. Hello, Canon. It is me, your arch enemy, the French chef. I am here. I am on the phone with you, finally. Finally. Canon, we shall decide who is the best chef in the world. The best chef of 2021. The best chef of 2022. And the best chef of 2023. I am coming for you, Canon. Be watchful. I shall call again. Ho, 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 French chef. I knew you'd call. So, uh, first off, um, y you already called. It's a little weird that you ended the uh, the conversation so you can, you know, just call again later for dramatic effect, I suppose, to, to give me the heebie-jeebies. I don't know. Just stating the obvious, it's weird, my dude. Also, I cannot help but chuckle at the fact that I got a couple of people gunning for a title that I won in an industry that I'm not even employed in anymore. But you know what? Oh, look, we got another call. Uh, yes, this, uh, this question's for, I guess, uh, just for the group as a whole. Uh, I previously called asking about cages and how I found it strange that the show didn't talk about cages, you know, like cages that you would put animals in, because I have very large animals, you see, and, and the police showed up at my home, so I'm currently, I've had to relocate to a, to a new location, and uh, I, yeah, I was just curious as if it had anything to do with my, my call in about cages, because as you see, I, I, have, I have very large animals that need, they, they just kind of roam freely, they, they make a lot of racket as well, a lot of uh, sounds of... Uh, struggle and uh they don't like that they're just not happy they need some kind of home shelter so i i you know i i enjoy the works of nicholas cage his movies are quite good 
you know, the unbearable weight of past talent was hilarious. Uh, I really enjoyed Willy's Wonderland. In fact, I, I recently went and saw Renfield. It was very informative about how to how to move bodies and how how you know how to remove people. There was a lot of blood. I don't really mind a lot of blood, but I just I really I just need to know um, if you could just keep me informed as to to make sure that my my last message. My last call in wasn't anything to do with someone showing up to my home, particularly the police. I don't, I don't need them. They, they, they usually don't really care much for uh, my use of cages. I just really enjoy them. Cages are very nice. I also have some birds that need cages as well. But you know, I have particularly larger animals, kind of human-shaped animals that just need, they need a, they need a place so they don't run around and, you know, poo and defecate. Uh, and pee all over stuff. Maybe you just get back to me. Thank you. <laughs> Human shaped animals. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, um, first off uh in the beginning i couldn't tell if you were saying the word apples or animals uh, i i later uh, confirmed that you were indeed saying animals but um i don't understand why uh someone would uh, necessarily be on a list for uh looking up cages i mean hell i'm sure you could find uh find yourself a good cage on uh amazon.com not a sponsor not at all a fucking sponsor, <laughs> but, um, I mean, maybe if you were buying them in bulk, maybe if you were, you know, typing in, uh, human, sh- human shaped animal sized cages into a, uh, a search bar, uh, you might be on, uh, one or two or 18 lists for all I know. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, I do agree. Uh, Unbearable weight of massive talent was a uh, very good. Uh, Willie's Wonderland was a time. Uh, Renfield was quite fun as well. Uh, so so bloody, so messy, so gory. And I uh, really hope uh, you didn't uh, take what you saw to heart on screen, and uh, don't take it home with you. Okay, don't shit where you eat. Um, look under the bed for the boogeyman, uh, people in glass houses sink ships and a penny saved is worth a, I forgot the rest. I was literally trying to quote, uh, one of my favorite movies of all time and I still fucked it up. Uh, no, you don't have to cut this. You can no, no, we're keeping it in. We're, 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 we're going to keep this in. Uh, we got, we got pad out time anyway. Uh, <laughs> Uh, do we have a call? Oh, yep. Wait. Oh, do we? No. Okay. Never mind. Oh yeah, we do. Never. Never mind. We do. We. Uh, yeah. Call. You're on the line. It is I. I have returned yet again, Canon. You do not know how long I have been waiting for this. Not just since 2021 or 2022. No, Canon. I have been your number one arch enemy for decades. This so-called sandwich artist that has a problem with you, he has nothing. This this Gordon Ramsay sound-alike person, he is nothing. I am your true arch enemy, Canon. Do you remember back in eighth grade, Canon, when you peed your pants in front of your crush? Eh? Little Tiffany was so disgusted that you had peed your pants and you swore up and down that you did not. Well, Kenon, you were right. I am the one who peed your pants in front of Little Tiffany, Kenon. I am the one who put urine in your trousers. Ha <laughs> ha, it was me. It was me all along. Ha ha ha. Okay, first of all, if the sandwich artist was supposed to sound like Gordon Ramsay, then as a Gordon Ramsay fan, <clears throat> excuse me, personally, I am truly offended and no wonder that individual worked at Jimmy John's. Okay. Okay. Also, sir, you must have me confused with a, another Canon because, um, I've only, 
I've I've literally known like two Tiffany's in my life and probably said like two words to uh, both of them. And also, I would never had peed my pants in eighth grade. I have had impeccable aim since seventh. Like, why do I have a feeling like that guy's going to call back? Frank, do you think he's going to call back? Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to call back. <sighs> so, you two, uh, hell, both of you might call back. Y'all are going to have to settle this, like, in a cage or something. Okay, it seems like you two are going to have to settle your differences to get to my differences. You know what I'm saying? Of course you don't. I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. It's like almost one o'clock in the morning, all right? And I'm doing a a, a call-in show. Like, what in the total F, okay? Anyway, moving on. Next call. Uh, yes, this is a call for Canon. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not even Steve from Middle Oregon. I'm from Blockbuster. I have on our files that, uh, you have an overdue film on our records for, uh, it seems as it's, uh, a DVD copy of Super Baby Geniuses 2. Yeah, uh, if you could, it's way, way past overdue, and we would really like for you to return that sometime within, you know, maybe the next six months. So if, if you could drive out here to Oregon... Uh, and just return that, I, you know, we can discuss uh, payment options on the very large, enormous sum uh, late fee that you currently have on this film. Again, that film being Super Baby Geniuses 2. And, uh, yeah, if you could just call us back or, you know, email us something. We, uh, we, we just we would really like for that return. We have a customer that's coming in constantly asking about it, and we told them we don't have it. Uh, they're not really too keen on the whole streaming idea they want like a hard physical copy of it and uh we were just you know curiously we looked at our system and saw that you had checked this out and, and just never returned it so if you could just get back with us again uh, this is blockbuster my name's steve hi this is uh ben oregon uh thank you uh have a great day yeah uh, i'm sorry everyone this this has to be yet another uh case of mistaken identity because anybody who knows me, like I, the farthest north I've ever been, and it's, you know, kind of a shame for me to admit this out loud, but Tennessee. And I was born and raised in Mississippi. So, yeah, haven't been far, haven't seen a lot. Been to a few places, but, you know, haven't seen much, you know, just throwing that out there. Uh, and also, the last time, <clears throat> excuse me, last time I, uh, stepped foot into a blockbuster is when I got fired from a blockbuster. Yeah, I was um, in college at the time, and I, the reasoning was uh, work and school schedules conflicted, which uh, was complete and utter bullshit. But uh, funny story, uh, as a blockbuster employee, you get like, uh, I think it was like seven, seven or eight free rentals a week at that time. And I was walking around the store, do 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 do, grabbed all my titles like in a stack, just do 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 do, put them on the counter. They're like do 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 do. Oh yeah, you're fired. But oh, but you can still take those tonight as long as you bring them back tomorrow. Yeah, I'm gonna get finished with four movies and three video games in less than 24 hours. Dip shits. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um, also, uh, you can take my copy of Baby Geniuses 2 from my cold, dead fucking fingers, you hear me? Do you hear me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everyone. I, I, I hope I didn't, um, hope I didn't hurt anyone's feelings or eardrums with my outburst just now. You can still try to take it from me, fucko. All right, uh, next caller. Uh, yeah, and another thing, Cannon, I don't understand how it is you became so famous on TikTok without having to say anything about cooking. And, you know, it's all about these movies that you like reviewing. You know, and then you're on this podcast here about Cage, Nicolas Cage, other Cage stuff, I don't know, and then I hear about other people and you arguing with yourself or something. You, that doesn't sound like best chef material. You know, you, you don't put anything out, out there. I live and breathe. 
just nothing but sandwiches all the time. You know, I've worked for some of the best. You know, I've worked for the Jimmy Johns and the, the Jersey Mikes. You know, some other named people with sandwiches. You know, I occasionally worked at a Quiznos for a hot second. I, I've worked in so many sandwiches places I can, you can't even imagine. It's just fathom it. It's just it's tons of sandwich places. And, you know, just because uh, apparently I, I didn't want to focus on anything else. And clearly I'm not the best sandwich person in the world. Of one of my managers saying, you know, he was wrong. It's you know, my mom, she loves my sandwiches. She will. Anytime she calls me up, she's like, Oh, I need you to come over and make me a sandwich because you're clearly better than that cannon guy. You know, all I see on his TikToks are just him and wrestling. You know, that's what my mom says to me. So it just inspires me to make sure I'm a better sandwich chef than you. So that I can always make sure that I'm just going to bury you when the time comes. You know, whatever that is. I don't know when your availability is. My availability is pretty free lately. So, so yeah. Just, you know, you get with me and we'll, we'll, we'll have this sandwich competition. You know, we'll find somebody to judge. And I'm sure the, the Justin or Jeremy can do it. Or maybe even some of the other people that are like on your show that I occasionally have to listen to. Just so I can make sure that you're not just talking shit about me. So yeah, you pick the date and I'll be there, Cannon. Sandwich off. God, you and your fucking sandwiches. What is it with you and fixing fucking sandwiches? Yeah, we do love talking about movies on the podcast. And of course, I love talking about movies on my uh, TikTok account. Um, speaking of, like, how are you, like, just the love child of the <laughs> the kid from uh, Bad Santa who made sandwiches all the time and uh, Jack Black from Saving Silverman who, like, graduated from Subway University? Like, Captain hoagie over here what the shit like i'm not trying to offend you sir like by any means but good lord like i didn't even like uh claim to be like a uh, captain dingling of sandwich making and you know what i even won uh best local chef in tuscaloosa without ever working at a single solitary sandwich establishment did i work at places that sold sandwiches of course i did of course but not one proprietary sandwich establishment. So let that send your butthole hairs a little bit there, pal, okay? All right, um, we might have time for uh, one or two more. All right, uh, the light's blinking. All right, caller, you're on the line. What's on your mind? Uh, yes, this is Golden Ramsey. I'm looking for Cannon. Uh, I have been informed by my PR department that there was a best chef competition coming up, and I was just just uh, looking to throw my hat into the ring. I'm not sure what the uh, cooking format is or any of the other competitors. I was just informed that I should call this number, tell them my name, and then that I was informed to put my name in the hat for best chef of 2023, and that Cannon was the person to uh to mention in this competition if uh he could just get back with me this again this is gordon ramsay i'm sure you've heard of me before uh, thank you and uh i guess uh made the best chef win oh shit oh no the actual real life chef gordon ramsay holy crap now my audio from earlier about the gordon ramsay impersonator is gonna make little to all of the sense and gordon <laughs> normally i would have no absolutely no objection to you throwing your hat into the ring but but you fucked up son you fucked up son and your taste buds are failing you hard my dude because pineapple be going on pizza okay Sorry, I'm not sorry. Ooh, I just probably just heard like another like half see your butthole puckers. Oh yeah, just oh man, just just all just just puckered up all day. Just at pineapples. Mmm. Pineapples go on that saucy bitch. And you can deal with it, okay? You can try, but I'm gonna need you to get on a hot mic and admit that you were wrong about your stance 
on pineapple on pizza. All right. Do we have time for another? We might have time for another one, y'all. Do you remember, Canon? Do you remember that social studies test? <laughs> Not only did you get a zero for getting all the answers incorrect, but your teacher was very displeased about a note that you left in the back calling her a wrinkled old hag. <laughs> oh, Canon. It was me. I ruined your social studies test. You had a perfect score before I arrived. <laughs> but I, I was pushing you, Canon. I was pushing you into the culinary arts so that I might defeat you and show the world that I am number one. Wait a minute. Wait a damn minute. You mean to tell me that the reason I almost flunked high school, the reason I almost didn't walk that field was because of you? You son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. So all this time I thought that I just 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 couldn't math correctly. It was it was because of you. You invented math? You bastard. You're probably responsible for Common Core, too. Man, man, you're just making math make just less sense. <laughs> oh, man, I know. You fucked me up in social studies. Well, guess what? Nobody can fuck me up in social studies, son. You want to know why? Because it's just memorizing th things. It's just memorizing things. And then taking a quiz. Hey, do you remember the thing? Yeah, I remember the thing. Done and done. Here's what I'm proposing to the both of you. Get a triple threat, hell in the cell, inferno match. But we don't wrestle. We all have to make sandwiches in a cage that's like surrounded by like 400 degree flaming hot fire flames. It's going to be winner take all, y'all. And I am going to take it all. Because like Tyree said in the cinematic masterpiece, too fast, too furious. Oh, we hungry. And my pockets aren't empty because they are filled with condiments. For the sandwiches, get ready, Freddy, because y'all's ass is a fucking toast. Ooh, sandwich puns for days. Well, I do believe that does about do it for the blinky lights on the uh, call line. I guess we are going to call it a night here. Thank y'all so much, so, so much for tuning in to Cajun Call Land. Thank you so much for being listeners of Cajun Greatness. Uh, you can follow me at that Canon guy on pretty much all social media platforms and uh, be sure to follow Captain Shimmy on all of his social media platforms and please do not forget to follow our boy Jeremy on all of his socials. And please check out the brand new episode of Jeremy's podcast, the instruction booklet that is coming out same day as this episode right now. As you're listening to this, when you're done right now, you got a whole other episode of semi cagey goodness to listen to. So what are you waiting for? I'm done here. You're done here. Go fucking listen to it. It's out right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody, for uh, tuning in. Uh, we will hopefully be back with a normal episode soon. Uh, sorry. Pretty sure uh, where we record uh, the show now is a biohazard. I'm probably breathing in poison as we speak. Uh, with that being said, I have been that cannon guy. I am now signing off. Have a good night, y'all. Peace, love, and bacon grease.